This video is sponsored by RoadkillT-Shirts.com. Look at the link in the description below before your purchases to support my channel and thank you. I tried to do this in front of the camera. I don't know. This is my review of Christmas every day. I guess I wanted to try out my new voice recorder and mix things up for once. This movie's about Billy, a 13 year old boy. He's reliving Christmas. Billy doesn't like Christmas. He thinks it's one of the worst days of the year. He absolutely despises Christmas. The movie starts off on Christmas Eve. It's basically setting up for the movie. Billy's working in the store with his dad, Harry, and he wants Billy to do a delivery before he goes out and hangs out with his friends to Mrs. Thompson, which is basically a crazy old cat lady. And also Billy's starring as the narrator in the Christmas pageant and he doesn't want anything to do with it. He's a rebellious teenager and there's one part where uh, snow falls but instead of uh, having snow in the bucket he puts water in there so it falls on his uh, uncle. After having the worst Christmas ever his sister comes up to his room saying I'm scared can I sleep in your bed and she basically tells him wish that it was Christmas every day so that's how the movie starts off. His uncle David is coming to town to put a mini mall in there and everyone's opposed to it because it will destroy their way of life and it will make all the companies that are around go bankrupt because everyone's going to the mini mall. Now throughout the movie Billy takes his own perspective on day by day. Day one uh, everything's wrong. I hate Christmas. Everything goes wrong. I hate Christmas. Day two what's going on? My life's on rewind. Day three, he protects it, and nothing, he's got nothing to lose. He kisses the girl he likes. He stands up to the bully that's been picking on him. He even predicts the basketball game since he had seen it for the last three days. And his uncle is wondering what the heck's going on with that, and Billy says it's just a lucky guess. And he's kind of using his sister as a, uh, sister and family as a, uh, advice type thing how to continue to the 26th of December because he's continuously reliving the 25th day of December and he uses his sister as a way of how to uh, get to the next day kind of a Yoda type thing or something like that you can connect your own dots there but his sister tells him that if she was living the same day over and over and over again that she would make it the most perfect day ever and the Days continue, he does the same thing, opens the basketball, his uncle crashes into the garage, his mom burns the pies, he watches the ball game and goes to the pageant. This movie kind of takes the same plot as you would see within the Groundhog's Day, same type concept. So he stands up to the bully named Joey, and Billy really likes the girl that Joey's together with, and he wants her to be his girlfriend so he tries to find many ways to impress her and it all it's coming out to be a fail he rents a whole bunch of movies at the movie rental he rents some John Wayne and some Chuck Norris that way he can get all sly with the bully and kick his ass and that really doesn't work because then she's like I thought you were different but you're no different than Joe you're just a jerk but one of the things he did do right was he got the bracelet that she lost back in school that her father had given to her so she was really happy about that and we never really find out whether she becomes his girlfriend or not but you can only assume that she did want him to be her boyfriend well, that's kind of how I connected the dots. So, continuing on, day four, he wants to change everything. His uncle's coming, so as soon as he gets up, he calls a tow truck. And as he was going out to play basketball with his dad, he hears his uncle pulling up. So, then he opens the garage door to where his uncle crashes right into the garage. And every single time that the uncle said, hey, look at that, not even a scratch on the car. But this time there was a scratch on the car, so that was pretty funny. But everything, it seems that he changed. He changed towards his way that thinking it should be. But in reality, he was changing it for the worse. So then come day five, he decided, I'm going to change it to the better. And he can't seem to get out of being grounded because this time he 
stole his uncle David's car because he picked it up from the tow shop or whatnot. And he took his girlfriend to be out on a joyride with him to the local cafe. And he won the jelly bean contest because he took a couple jelly beans out of the container so he would be the winner instead of Joey winning it. Day six was more about, since I can't change anything really here, then I'm going to try to change the world. So he listens to the news before he goes to bed and takes notes on stuff that happened on Christmas Day. So then the next Christmas day that comes around, he's changing everything. Like he puts out a fire, uh, sh shows lost people how to get unlost. But even with his good deeds, there was still bad stuff that happened within Christmas. So now he's learning that he can't fix the world. Which brings us to day seven, where he just finds out Christmas is about family. Spend time with your family. Make the best that you can be. Uncle David really didn't pursue the mini mart and he just reminisced with uh, Harry about old times. The truck mobile. And just basically told him that, you know, I don't really want the mini mall. I just want to come back, live here, and work in the store with you. I've really enjoyed watching this movie throughout the years. It's one that I've watched almost every year, one of the movies that it's kind of tradition to watch for me. And I actually watched this on YouTube, which I'll leave the link to the video that I watched in the description below. You're seeing old technology such as renting VHS tapes, old lingos such as Candid Camera and America's Home Video being mentioned instead of uh, YouTube. And he... He's even asked, uh, where's your Christmas spirit? And he said, oh, I forgot to buy it on the home shopping network where today it would be more like uh, eBay. So well, it's kind of cool hearing old terms like that since it's all like digitalized these days and more stuff you say in that sense is eBay and YouTube or whatever else. You don't really say anything for cameras to go with uh, uh Funniest home videos, it's more like, are you going to put this on YouTube? So it's really funny watching that. And I'm sure the new, uh, this current generation of kids would find it, like, odd because it's just, like, obsolete media or whatnot. But it's really cool revisiting that for myself since that's what I grew up with. I'm going to give this movie a 4.5 out of 5. I I guess it could be a biased review, but I really enjoy it. I feel like there's a lot of family-oriented uh, parts about this movie. And there's really no swearing or any bad scenes at all within this movie itself. So for that, too, I also give it a high rating. If you want to support my work, you can do so by clicking the link in the description below for my sponsor's website. As well as you can click the PayPal donation link and you can donate as much or as little as you would like, as often or as little as you like. Again, I'm not asking, but I'm suggesting. I would really, I would like to see that if someone would want to donate to the channel. Also, I got a Spreadshirt store that you can go to. I'll leave that link in the description below. For any business inquiries, you can email me at 2secondhandhunter at gmail.com I do have a Facebook account you can like me at facebook.com slash YouTube secondhandhunter you can follow me on Twitter that's twitter.com slash secondhandhunter you can chat with me on Skype username is secondhandhunter make sure you comment subscribe like thumbs up any Uplifting comments are always appreciated. My vids are on Monday with my news article, Wednesday with my vlog, and Friday with my reviews. I do upload periodically if I got stuff to put up and if the mood strikes me. And just let me know what you guys think of this. Do you like the gameplay reviews of movies and whatever else uh, better than the in front of the camera? Or do you like the in front of the camera better than the gameplays? Just let me know below, and I will catch you guys on Monday with my news article. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you on the flip side. I am absolutely terrified of this camera. I don't know why. I spent about five minutes looking at the camera, trying to gather my thoughts for my video.
There's a lot of other things that are going on in life right now, but this is the least of my worries. Hey guys, it's your main man here, Second Hand Hunter. This is a movie review of Christmas Every Day. <laughs> 